Hi there, today I'd like to take a look at this product. It's the Adobe Premiere Elements 2018. No fear, video editing is here. So basically, I think um, what this is, is a video editor that makes it really easy to edit videos, okay? So maybe like a beginner's one and stuff and, and one that caters more towards someone that's learning. Um, so basically here's the program open right now and it was really quick and easy to install it. And uh, let's see. So up here you have eLive Quick, Guided, and Expert. So in the quick menu, it, it is very simple. This is basically your screen. And down here, you see it's very, very simple. Um, you just uh, drop your video files here, drop a title, record narration, drop audio clips, okay? So if you're more advanced, then you go up here to expert, and then all of a sudden this whole thing changes, and now you have a whole bunch of other stuff. You got video three, audio three, video two, audio two, video one, audio one, voice, music, and um, a lot of more expanded timeline. Um, so I'm going, oh, and then here you also have guided. So under guided, then they have all of these different, add narration, add a musical score. Um, this is under audio adjustments, um, basics. They'll, uh, these are all tutorials. So you got get started, trim and split clips, add transition between clips, add titles. Uh, then you can go under video adjustments and you've got uh, fixed brightness, color and contrast, color pop, animate graphics, add an adjustment layer, fix action cam footage, um, audio adjustments I already showed you, and then fun edits. You've got topics like put a video inside your title, create slow or fast motion effects, create picture in picture effect, apply an effect ma uh, mask, create a freeze frame with motion title, create an animated social post, create bounce back effect, like a g uh, GIF, GIF, I don't know how you say that. Um, so anyways, we're gonna uh, start with, a. Uh, I'm gonna just go into quick. And obviously there's a ton of different stuff that you can do, um, all these different edits, all these different fun things, add music, uh, you know, there's all that stuff. But I just want to show you um, uh, the really, really basics because I'm I'm kind of just a basic person. I, I just do these little video reviews, okay? And I'm not very, very good at, at all this yet. So I I was really happy to get this program um, to try and, and learn more about how to do these. But to get started, um, you can add media, create template-based, uh, tell your story using titles, learn video editing. Okay, so I'm going to add media over here. So then on this up here, then it pops up and it says files and folders. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go ahead, um, look through, let's, let's just grab this video over here real quick. And then I'm going to open it. So here it is, this is a Go, GoPro footage. So then down here you can see the entire timeline. Um, over here there's render, and you can also change this to expand it out or slim it down. You see how that changed my timeline? So I wanna just make it kinda fit in there for right now. Then you can play it. This is my GoPro footage. And then you can choose over here. You can drag this and scrub along here. You can play. And then when you want to trim it, anytime you click over here, there's this little um, icon, 
split clip. And oh, and if you hover over just about any of the buttons, then it'll tell you, it'll give you a little thing to tell you what it can do. So you can split it. So once you split, this is a really easy split. And over here, there's a little icon that tells you that you just, you've trimmed your clip, okay? So you can split it. Then you can come over here, you can split it again. You can come over here, split it again. So it's really easy to trim out. Then you can select, you see how you can just select these? And then you can select these. And um, I just hit my uh, delete button on my keyboard. And then I can get rid of it. So if I want to click on, choose this one and just get rid of that, and then trim, uh, gotta move this over, I'm gonna trim this over here, and then when you trim it, you can now um, move, you can insert stuff over here, so let's, let's go over here, and we're gonna add a transition, and here are the, 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 all the different transitions, you can drop to black, so I'm going to grab that, you see, I'm, gr I'm grabbing it, I'm going to add that right here. So I'm going to drop that in, and that right there, that's the, that's a dip to black transition. And like you hover it and it'll tell you. So once you drop this over here, then you can double click this, and you can change the dip to black, you can change the duration, and where it sits. It sits between the clips, left clip, right clip. Um, more and uh, here you can scroll down and you can see and then done okay so you can add transitions in there if you don't add a transition um, then it still moves pretty flawlessly and it just kind of skips and jumps right in see it was pretty pretty flawless it just jumps right through without a transition then you can record narration you know um, you can add marker up here and stuff like that so it's really really easy to trim out the video make it all nice and then you can come up here oh and then there's all this other stuff you can do all these adjustments smart fix balance color um, these edits I did try out the smart, um, where is it? I tried out one of the smart trim features and I actually didn't like it. Um, it says that it, it's, it does a smart trim, but it wasn't really that smart to me. I didn't feel like it was. So uh, that that's, that's something that I didn't like, but I rarely like to um, trust the computer to know what it is that I want to keep or trim away, right? So then when you're all done with your project, um, you can go up here to export and share. And that's going to pull up this screen here. And you have quick export, um, export to devices, to disk. Uh, online audio image um, you can quickly pull out images with this freeze frame so th that's really nice you can pull out still shots from your video um, I like that feature a lot but um, here I just go to devices and then you can choose TV mobile custom or computer I just go to computer you can choose all these different options here for uh, quality and file size and then you choose whichever one you want and then you choose um, your file name the destination and save and then it will go ahead and render and uh, save your file and then you can post that up or whatever you'd like to do so um, I found this program to actually be very easy to use and I love all the tutorials that so that you know I can start learning um, how to use it better, and and that can all translate to other programs as well. But yeah, this program has been really easy and and fun, and um, and uh, they say fear-free video editing, and I can definitely agree with that. So there you go. If there are any questions, go ahead and leave them for me in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.